हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल एंडलेस लर्निंग आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड फॉलोइंग द एस ओ पीज इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल क्विकली प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन सो लेट्स मूव टूअर्ड्स टू डेज लेक्चर दैट्स द टाइप्स ऑफ वैलिडिटी इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कसड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द वैलिडिटी एंड ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट सम करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द वैलिडिटी लेट एस फर्स्ट हैव अ क्विक रिकेपचुलेशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस लेक्चर validity is the extent to which a test measures what it is designed to measure a test is valid when it measures truly and accurately the ability or the quality one marks the prize if you have not watched the previous lecture the link of that lecture is given in the description box of this and you can also find the link of the same lecture on the top right corner of this video no assessment is valid for all the purposes a test is valid for a particular purpose only validity is a specific characteristic of a test there are different ways of calculating the validity of a test based on the objectives with which we validate the test we will discuss here the major six types of the validities in this video first the face validity pause this video for 5 seconds and think about what is the face validity hmm good yes when a test appears to major what the test user or what the test constructor wishes or intends to major it is said to possess the face validity thus the face validity refers not what the test majors but what the test appears to major whether it seems to be relevant to its various objectives test content should not appear to be inappropriate or irrelevant if a test measures what the test constructor or we can say what the test author desires to measure we say that the test has the face validity face validity does not require any statistical technique to find it it's based on the subjective judgment of the experts whenever a test is prepared it is submitted to the experts to assess if it measures what it intends to measure obviously it's the first step in validating the test once the test is validated at face we may proceed further to compute the validity coefficient suppose we prepare a test to measure the attitude towards online learning among the students and we send it to the experts if all the questions on the test are relevant to uh, online learning found by experts then the experts say it's having the face validity next content validity let you guess it don't worry let me clear this to you an analysis of content of an assessment evaluates the appropriateness of the content and determines the extent to which the assessment tasks provide a relevant and representative sample of the content under consideration content consideration are especially very important when validating the achievement tests or while constructing the classroom tests content validity refers to the extent to which a test contains items representing the behavior that we are going to measure or we are going to assess it's generally assessed by critical evaluation of the test contents to determine whether they cover a representative sample of the behavior or not as it's measured from the content such type of validity is referred to the content validity content validity of a test is estimating by assessing or by evaluating the presence of the content to be assessed in the test paper suppose we want to construct an achievement test on the english and all the questions of the test should be related to the prose poetry novel grammar and so on and all the items must measure the behavioral objectives like knowledge about english 
or a knowledge about poetry novels prose or grammar understanding about the uh, english applications of these things analysis synthesis and evaluation then we say that test has having content validity content validity rests upon an expert analysis on the i terms including the test content validity is also known as circular validity it's also known as rational validity or the logical validity next concurrent validity let you first have a thought about it hmm having no idea the term concurrent validity is used to refer the process of validating a new test by correlating it with the some available source of information which might have been obtained shortly before or shortly after the test new test is given concurrent validity indicates to which extent the test score corresponds to the already accepted measures of performance suppose we want to administer an intelligence test upon an individual we have already administered that test once upon that individual and now the intelligence scale is administered upon the same individual again if the correlation between the previous intelligence test and the now intelligence test is high then we say that the intelligence test is having high concurrent validity concurrent validity is relevant to the tests employed for diagnosis when new tests are validated against the previous ones these previous or pre established tests are known as the criteria for the new tests next is the construct validity being a psychology student what you get from this term no worries it's okay let me elaborate it a construct is an individual characteristic that we assume exists in order to explain some aspects of the behavior whenever we wish to interpret assessment results in term of some individual characteristics like the reasoning or the problem solving activity we are concerned with a construct now what's the construct validity the construct validity of a test is the extent to which the test may be used to measure a theoretical construct or a trait there are some examples of construct like anxiety of any individual or the scholastic aptitude or the mechanical comprehension or the writing comprehension and so on construct validation requires the gradual accumulation of the information from different sources when we interpret assessment results as a measure of a particular construct we are implying that there is such a construct that differs from other constructs and that the results provide a measure of the construct little influenced by the external factors verifying such implications is the task of the construct validity although construct validation has been commonly associated with the theory building or the theory testing it's also useful for the practical use of assessment results it takes place primarily during the development and the try out of the test or the assessment and is based on the accumulation of the evidence from many different sources when selecting a published test that presumably measures a particular construct such as logical reasoning reading comprehension or writing comprehension the test manual should be tested to determine what evidence is represented to support the validity of the proposed interpretations next is the predictive validity let you think for a while about it oh really what a logical thinking you have predictive 
validity of a test refers to the predictive capacity of a test it refers to the effectiveness of a test in predicting future outcomes in a particular area the word prediction may be used in more than one way in broader sense it would mean prediction from the test to a criterion situation and in the limited sense it would imply prediction over a period of a time when used in limited context it may be referred to in the sense of the predictive validity predictive validation provides the most relevant information for the tests used in the selection and the classification of the persons some other uses include the hiring job aspirants or selecting students for the admission to the colleges or professional schools assigning the military persons to the occupational training programs suppose we have to prepare an entrance test for the admission into the professional course say the medical course and based on the scores we have admitted the candidates in the medical college the candidates completed the medical course and appeared in the final medical examinations the scores of the entrance test and the scores of the final medical examination are correlated if the correlation between the two is high then we say that the entrance test is having high predictive validity and if the correlation between the two scores and entrance score and the final examination score is low then we say that the entrance test is having low predictive validity now lastly the criterion validity criterion validity evidence tells us just how well a test corresponds with a particular criteria criterion validity includes both the predictive validity and the concurrent validity a test may be validated against as many criterions as there are specific uses for it whenever a test score are to be used to predict the future performance or to estimate the current performance on some valued measures other than the test itself we say the concerned with evaluating the relationship between the test and the criterion suppose we need to check the student's future achievement in the speaking the speaking readiness test scores might be used to predict the student's future achievement in the speaking and in another test we have to find out the student's current skills in actual use of the dictionary while using a test of the dictionary skills we estimated the student's current skill current skills in actual use of the dictionary both of them come under the criterion validity in an example where we assessed the student's future achievement of in speaking is the predictive validity because we predict his future and in the second example where we assessed the current skills that is the concurrent validity both of these two are known as the criterion validity this is all about the types of the validity i hope you have understood today's lecture don't forget to like this video and share it with others if you are new to our channel click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the new notifications of the upcoming lectures thank you everyone god bless you